shitty for water. Hi everyone! Oh my god, it's hi everyone! Hi everyone! Oh my god, this is my like first video at home. I'm just like filming literally in my like office glam room. It's like an office glam room. Like there's makeup, there's a desk with a computer and a fake plant. Very office like. But then on this side there's a vanity. Oh, you can see it through my vanity. <gasps> That's Francis, my ficus. That's all I can really take care of because I only have to water. Yeah, I ordered food because I was like really hungry. Oh my god, the other day I had a Postmates and he was cute. He was cute. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna be eating during this tutorial, so it is like a kind of like a mukbang. Okay, you guys, so I know my mic is a little bit off. I'm using the on camera mic, so I'll be getting one of those very soon, but I didn't want to wait on filming this video because I was, I've been seeing everybody's videos. I've been seeing this like makeup trend a lot on YouTube, and I was like, who else should I follow than my rat sister herself, Nikita Dragon? Um, I don't know, I just. But why can my Postmates guy kind of get it? Hey, Postmates, if my Postmates is like, hey, I'm about the fantasy and I want to give you my number, that should be an option. This is what comes up for Nikita Dragon. And the first one is the heart one. So her like Valentine's Day heart freckles makeup tutorial, which could be really fun because y'all know I'm not the most artistic. I'm a very bronzed, bronzed lady, right? New boyfriend does not make up. Is he shirtless? Oh my god, Nikita. I actually want to do the hearts. I'm gonna do the hearts. Oh, I didn't even do like the proper intro. Okay, if you want to know exactly how I'm gonna create Nikita's video. I think it's pretty simple. It's just literally heart freckles, a pink so eye simple. with a little yellow in the middle, and that's pretty much it. I know you how much love I have for you. Like, look at all these hearts, honey. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with the oh. eyes. It is a common. Oh my gosh, she did everything. She already did foundation. She already did concealer. Um, hello. Okay, well while I do that, <laughs> is it kind of gross that I'm gonna be eating? while I'm doing the tutorial. I mean, I'm only just eating food, right? So I got chicken tenders. Yeah, it's chicken tenders. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I'm back. So I also put on a mesh shirt because I see that she's wearing a mesh shirt. So I was like, okay, I don't have pink mesh. I didn't put on bronzer. All I did was my foundation, my concealer, and then like baking. God, that food was so good. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with the eyes. Okay. It is a combination of like a hot pink with a really intense gold. The yellow okay. is really the only pop of color that we'll be using other than the pink, and it's pretty much only one shadow the whole time. So to make the okay, eyeshadow stand shadow. out the okay. absolute most, the absolute most. super, super intense, and make super, it super like intense. you on Instagram. Yeah. But anyway, Instagram. so we're gonna be using MAC, and this is in the shade Painterly as an eyeshadow primer. We're gonna lay this on our eyes. Oh, do I have that? I'm probably one of the few people in the beauty world that just doesn't use MAC Paint Early Paint Pot. <gasps> Where's my concealer brush? Hello? <laughs> Where's my concealer brush? Okay, so now we're gonna try some Tarte Shape Tape because I don't have Paint Early Paint Pot. So I'm just gonna do this as a base. And then I'm using a Sephora Airbrush Concealer Brush. This on our eyes before we start doing our shadows. Okay. okay, so now that our eyes are nice and primed, what? Like okay, wait, let me I'm gonna keep Okay. Putting on a dead. hot pink color. This is a hot pink from NYX. It is so inexpensive, really cheap. And I also will be using the MAC hot pink as well. I kind of switch between both of them. I feel like they're mostly the same, but to okay. me, I'm so used to using more than one shadow. And okay. I'm using that on a Morphe. This is a Morphe M441 brush. M441. That's the mission. Morphe Mac. Hello. <gasps> M441. She has found it. Discount code Dragon to save in store and online. This she pink is 
bright. It's like borderline almost fuchsia. Do not get too intimidated with this. We're gonna buff this out. But when I was doing this look, I pretty much just concentrated oh, she's it on okay. the outer V and the socket of the eye. God damn, look at all that space. Look at her space and then look at my space. My space. <laughs> God damn, it's a big old eye. These Makeup Forever colors I had for whenever I was um, the pink skull, Dead and Dragon. So keep it concentrated there. And once that's all buffed in, I'll take another brush and we'll blend it further out. But when it's super concentrated and when the pigment is so bright like this is, you wanna be really careful. So I only dipped the brush in once and went really sparingly because this look is really intense and the last thing you wanna do is mess up with using too much product in windshield wiper She has motion. such a big ass eye. And then eye. with another brush, this is just a MAC 217 and it's 217. super, super clean. That's it. 217! Where's the 217? MAC 217! And again, it's just a hot pink color and it's super intimidating, but it is only it one color. Okay. So you can't really mess up, I feel like. I feel like this is a okay. really messy look, but it's just really easy. So it's not one messy that we have way. to like stress over too much. Don't stress. So now notice I'm blending it further and further out and this is giving it that really nice smoky effect. She just has a giant ass eye, you guys. Like I can't be like risking it with that big ass brush on my tiny little eyes. It's gonna look like I'm a hooker. Whereas before, yeah, I was smoky going to put hand in with the color. But now that the color is more set, oh, I'm able to really blend this and smoke it out. And we'll go back oh, in and add the hot pink more towards where we started. But oh, like okay. this effect, this gradient, we could only get with the color being very like less pigmented, if that makes any sense. Okay, so now I'm picking up more of that hot pink shadow. More? And I'm gonna focus this okay. right on the Where? outer edge and the crease okay. area and buff it okay. in. Again, like I said, we have it blended like out really said, nicely, but we're just gonna be yeah. doing that same process over and over again until we get the max over and over again. opacity that we want. Since it oh. is hot. And like how I said, I didn't want to be dramatic and pull out the pink, but I literally pulled out the pink. Like, I mean, obviously we knew I was gonna be extra. Bitch, she pulled it out. out. Man, what the f Nikita? Now I gotta pull it out. Damn it. As long as I'm your hooker. We're just gonna go in with a gold shadow. This is actually Laura's old collaboration. I, I uh, have, that have a lot of collabs. You have a lot of makeup. So this is actually just a box, you guys, of my friends' collaborations. And Laura Lee's is here. Laura Lee. Shadow right here. This shadow right here called Fleeky is that nice Fleaky. yellow. It's so crazy because I was really looking for a yellow, like a true yellow. And if you can find a true yellow pigment or a true yellow shadow, that would work the best. But really this one works orange. really well for me. It's just a really yellow gold. So I'm literally gonna be laying this yellow gold shining. Okay, but like what brush is that, Nikita? Nikita, what brush is that? on my eyelid. But see, like I was saying, the yellow is just such an amazing pop of color against the hot pink. It really makes the look. And you can make it however you want. You know, if you want it soft and blended or like I did, I did an actual crease. So it was kind of like a cut crease in a sense. And you can pack this as densely as you want. But my suggestion is do less layers if possible, because if you do a lot of layers, it looks really patchy and gross. So I would say start off with just a nice thin layer. Okay, so now that we're done with this shadow, I'm gonna be adding oh some- Oh my god, we're done? Oh! Honestly, I wanted to do this look, and this just gives me a reason to do it. <laughs> From M Cosmetics, this is a really, really great and pigmented, easy to use felt tip. Okay, what is she doing? She guys, really precise and sharp, and I'm just gonna be doing- Okay, a wing liner. Wing liner! Hello! Hello! Oh my god! Oh my god, I found the exact liner! Oh my god, I A very subtle wing. Subtle I say wing. that now very reluctantly because I probably will drag it all the way out to my earlobe. But we'll try, we'll try. You know, I'm just okay. going for a natural look today, you know. Okay, so our liner is officially on. And like I said, of course, I'm going to be so dramatic with it. Oh my gosh, she did a dramatic liner. That means I have to do a dramatic liner. Okay. So I'm using the M Cosmetics eyeliner. Okay, she got to do this off camera, y'all. I'm sorry. No, no, no. She can't do that. Also, let's document this moment because this liner so far isn't so bad. Okay, so I don't hate the liner. I'm sorry, wearing liner all the time. 
This is so pretty. I mean, if I'm going to be doing a Nikita Dragon liner, I can't like half ass it and I have to make it like super extra, super long, super tricksy metal. Honey, honey. <laughs> right now, I'm just going to be applying some Miami lashes. These are from Lily Lashes, discount code Dr Of course. Miami is such a pretty lash. Dipping with a blush brush into that hot pink shadow, the same one that we used on our eye, and we're gonna start applying that as a blush. It's a really intense hot pink, but I wanna mimic the same color that we have going on in the eye. So what I'm gonna do is lay this on like a blush and then also bring it to my temple. It's gonna lay a base for us to draw on our freckles later. And then under the nose, this is actually really important. It's gonna look crazy right now. Let's it's gonna lift look like the hair. Like the red nose reindeer, but when we start applying all the blush and stuff, it's gonna make a huge difference. And then I'm gonna take this a little bit under the sides. I'm gonna go in and start drawing the hearts on my face. So okay. what I'm gonna first do With is what? start drawing the pink hearts and then we'll go into the white hearts. For okay. the hearts today, I'm using this oh my Makeup God. Forever. Uh, this tiny little brush. Do you see this? This is an Anastasia little brush. A tiny little brush. brush. Look at this. Anywhere. It almost seems like um, it doesn't honestly, exist. Might be really so this is not an Anastasia brush. This is a MAC 210 brush. There's no rhyme or reason to where you want to put your hearts. You can just put them wherever. You can add as many hearts as you want. I like to add one for every Tinder match I get, every um, Bumble match I get, every eHarmony match I get, every broken heart of mine. Actually, no, my heart's never been broken. But every heart I've broken, you know, like that's just the kind of general skew I like to do. So it's super simple to draw a heart. What we're gonna do is take that paint and all I do is draw a V. Well, there's a v. v for Valentine's Day, duh, of course. So once we have that little V on, that's when we can start filling it in and kind of just making the top two parts of the V connect. And it Oh my god, it does make the perfect little we heart. Have our first Ew, part Nikita! Ew! Why is it the cutest little thing? Many, <laughs> trust me, we're gonna have many. so many. So that V motion is the exact same thing we'll be doing all over. Some of the hearts are gonna be big, medium, and small. There's really no way you can mess this up because it is kind of just a messier thing. There's no absolute right way to do it. So just have fun and then just kind of place your hearts wherever you want. And it doesn't matter, you know, hearts are all different sizes. Hearts can be broken. Hearts can be lied to. Some people don't even have hearts, like clearly. But you know, it's just all in life. So we're still doing medium sized hearts. I'm gonna actually do a small one to show you guys the difference. Literally. Okay, this is probably the funnest thing in the entire world. Just drawing tiny little hearts. Drawing tiny little hearts is actually fun. You want to set it with the powder so it doesn't go everywhere. So I'm gonna dip back in with the hot pink color that we've been using throughout our entire face. Just literally just tap on the heart ever so slightly, just so it doesn't move around all over and all crazy. Time to add our white hearts. So I'm gonna lightly tap into the shadow and tap it off on my little place. And then I'm gonna tap it right there. Again, I'm using a very light concealer. Gonna do that V motion that we've been doing. Oh, that's so cool. notice how it's like almost like a negative space of the oh, heart. Okay, cool. On, so I think I'm gonna go actually with, like with the concealer method with the shadow brush and the shadow. I'm gonna I'm so dumb. When I first saw her photo and I saw that. I was like, oh wow, she must have like dipped a brush into like makeup remover and like removed the makeup there. But then I was like, what if she has like redness in her skin? Yeah, I didn't think it through. <laughs> Continue to go this way. And I'm gonna do a really big one over here. And then with the concealer, of course you don't have to be. Okay, so now that we're finally done with the hearts, I am going to finish off the look. Okay, you guys, so as much as I wanted to find that exact lip color that Nikita's wearing, so I went through all my lip colors and I could only find MAC lip colors that look like that, so let's see. This is from NYX Cosmetics. This is in this shade. Powder puff in a shade Teenage Dream. All right, guys, that's a completed look. I hope you loved it. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay, then I gotta pick. Okay, so I found a lip liner. I need to line my lips because I haven't done my lip filler in a while, so my lips are uneven. So right now I'm just using a NARS Precision Lip Liner in Grace. Gracie? And because I still want it to be very bright and pink, we're gonna do this one. This is in the color 
personal statement. This is a retro matte, and I think I'll add a lip gloss on top of it. Oh shit, this is a bright pink. Okay. I'm gonna put some lip gloss on. This is in Girl About Town. Oh my god! Okay. So I don't have a pink bandana, but I do have a black bandana. But I have my dragon wig. Ha <laughs> ha! I haven't worn this in a very long time, so I gotta make sure it's brush. I just feel like my inner stripper comes out when I put this wig on. Nikita hates me in a wig. <laughs> Bitch, I'm a fucking chola now! cunt as a chola. I know that the hair wasn't part of the tutorial, but I was like, <laughs> I mean, if you have a pink wig, just throw it on. <laughs> that should be like someone, I think that's Nikita's life motto. If you have a pink wig, just throw it on. Let me FaceTime Nikita, just to fuck with her. She recreated a makeup tutorial. Yay. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you gag? Ew, what the fuck? You look good. With the black, I look so chola. You honestly do. Ew, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> And the hearts? How did you do the hearts? Did you do it with, um, the paper? Shut up. And she oh, said, Bitch, I followed your tutorial exactly! Where you look so good, can I take you out now and make you trick and see that on all the guys? And, like, trick them to make her a real woman? I mean... Okay, you guys, now that it is Nikita Dragon approved... You guys, this was honestly really super fun to film. I actually liked it a lot more because I was able to film it at home where I have all of my stuff. So this is actually gonna be a lot more fun. I was a little bit nervous. I like that all my makeup is accessible. So I'm gonna start filming more at home. I promise that I will be getting a new mic, like an actual mic so you can hear audio better. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any other challenges you want me to do, I don't always do like a lot of makeup challenges, but I think I wanna start doing them again. Then um, let me know down in the comment section down below. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And until next time, breathe fire, my dragons.